Pretty amazing video tonight out of California. Firefighters are battling a house fire in Stockton. When they go to the back to stop the flames from spreading to the house next door, they find a dog who was trapped in a kennel. They were able to get the dog out just in time. And that video gives us a clear view of what firefighters are up against daily. But there are many unseen dangers they also face. Angela Ingram is in Green Township with how Ohio firefighters are getting some help to protect themselves. Hi, Angela. Hi, Cammie. The Bureau of Workers' Compensation acknowledges that firefighters have inherently dangerous jobs, so some grant money is coming out, and there are plenty of studies that show that firefighters are at a higher risk of developing certain types of cancers because of their jobs. On any run, a firefighter can potentially be exposed to things that cause health problems. Like most fire departments, Green Township has these protective hoods. It covers pretty much all the head area. But studies are showing that the current barrier hoods are not enough to keep them safe. I mean, they're protecting us from the heat, but they're not protecting us from the bad stuff that's causing long-term you know, cancer issues. $745,000 in grant money is going to fire departments in Ohio. The funding is to buy safety gear, for instance, thicker hoods and gloves. The gear will help protect against things like respiratory problems and cancer. Well, the current hoods that we have is a standardized hood that's used, you know, across the industry. And they found through research that this is a key area where some of the carcinogens are permeating into the skin around the neck area. So they've come up with a new product that has a stronger barrier. 75 departments will split that grant money. In our area, Green Township is getting $9,800. Springfield Township will get $15,000 and Ross Township $11,000. Uh, there's now a presumption law in the state of Ohio that uh, through some uh, a certain timetable, if you have certain kinds of cancers, they will uh, you know, pretty much acknowledge that it's caused from firefighting. The risk factors are high for firefighters and medics, but with newer gear, fire chiefs are hoping their men and women are safer. So they're, they're putting themselves at risk to protect people that are in desperate need. And it, it only makes sense that you're gonna protect those people so they can do their job properly and ultimately go home safely to their families. And Chief Sadish says that there are also some changes in how firefighters decontaminate at the scene. He says, for instance, now they might immediately clean off, take off their gear if there's a lot of soot on that gear, possibly bag it up, bring it back here to the station, clean it immediately, and also take a shower immediately. Reporting live tonight from Green Township, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Cami, back to you. All right, Angela, thank you. Green Township's fire department will buy the new protective hoods in the next two to three weeks.